In this lesson, you'll learn how to fill in field list group fields, which are fields used for appearances. In the last lesson, we learned that there are three types of fields. There are predefined fields, which are placeholders for dates, times, or page numbers that fill in automatically based on information found on the computer or in the transcript. In the last lesson, we learned all about user-defined fields, placeholders for items like parties in a caption, witnesses' names, case numbers, and so on. The third type of field is called a field list group field, which is used for filling in a name and contact information in appearances. When you fill in field list group fields, the information will be saved in a file called fill in field list in your system files case, and it will be listed in the select list. I'm going to scan forward to the first field list group field, which is a placeholder for the firm name for the attorney representing the plaintiff. As with user defined fields, when you fill in a field list group field for the first time, the select list will be empty. However, unlike user defined fields, you will not type a new entry under field value. Instead, you will click New List Entry to enter the information. Here, in the Insert Entry dialog, you will type all of the information required for the appearance. I'll go ahead and do that now. Attorney Robert Skolnick Firm Silverman and Leibovitz Address A, 1400 3rd Street Address B, Suite 220, City, Los Angeles, State, California, Zip, 90042, Phone Number, 310-555-0930. The dialog box may request information that isn't necessary for your appearance page, such as an email address or a fax number. However, if you have that information handy, you can go ahead and type it in, and that information will be stored along with the rest of this information for this attorney and firm in the fill and field list. As there's no associated field on your appearance page, it won't appear in your transcript. But if you ever do need that information, you can easily look it up in the fill and field list or insert it into a job. When you're done typing information, click OK. The correct value for the first field in the group, firm 1, is now listed as the field value. I'll click OK to use that value. Notice that all of the fields in the group are now filled in, plus the information for Mr. Skolnick and the firm of Silverman and Leibovitz is also stored in the Fill and Field List file. Let's take a look at that file. I'll click the Manage Jobs tab. Now I'll double click the System Files case. And now I'll double click the Fill and Field List file. Here's that information. You can also insert entries directly into the Fill and Field List file and then use them in Edit. Let me do that. I can click the Insert icon on the toolbar, or press Ctrl-I to get the Insert Entry dialog box. Now, I'll type the information for another attorney and firm that I work with a lot, and that I'm sure I'll need sometime when I'm filling in appearances in Edit. Attorney, Amanda Poe. Firm, Harkness. Cotton. And Lynch, LLC. Address A, 508 North. Main Street, Address B, Suite 2509, City, Los Angeles, State, California, Zip 90048, Phone Number 323-555-1292. When I'm finished, I'll click OK, and then assuming I don't want to insert any more entries right now, I'll click Cancel to close the Insert Entry dialog. Now I'll save and close the Fill and Field list. OK, we're back in my job. I'll go ahead and fill in the next set of Fill and List group fields. I'll press Scan. See how both entries in my Fill and Field list are listed in the Select list? Now let's say that the defendants were represented by Harkness, Cotton, and Lynch. If I start typing Harkness, the Harkness, Cotton, and Lynch values show up in the field value. And now all I have to do is click OK or press Enter. You now know how to use Fill and Field List group fields. You'll learn more about using Field List group fields in the Include Files lesson. For now, take a moment to practice filling in Field List group fields. Go into the training user and follow the directions for Exercise 14 in the Edit Practice document. Then when you're ready, proceed to the next lesson in order.